Hi, my name is Zeeshan and uh, in this video we will see how to use DB adapter in your SOA composite applications and in this example we will take uh, employee ID we'll use the HR schema and um, we'll take a employee ID as a parameter for a service and it will return uh, the service uh, a record of the employee and uh, read by reading from the database so let's see how to do it first step is to create an application and we will go to create SOA application and we'll say that my EMP people or we can say okay my DB adapter my DB adapter process that's better and we'll take a project name same my DB adapter process and make sure it's so is selected here and we'll create an empty composite because we're going to create XML schema first this is the composite area and there is no exist uh, XML schema here for time saving I'm going to copy my old wrong location I will put the same XML schema and here here you can see the XML schema what I'm doing here is I've created two complex types one is an EMB ID simple integer other is a J type EMP record and it's taking a name and a salary and uh, request is just a simple ID our service will receive the EMP ID as a re request and the response response will be the name and a salary name we will concat the first name and the last name of employee uh, as a complete so let's start we'll go to the composite editor and drag and drop the people process we'll create a synchronous process and we'll put a same name as uh, my db adapter process input you know our input is the employee request which is type of integer and our output is from the XML schema as a response for the service here you go you created a service and a people process next is to drag and drop the D database adapter here to external references we'll give a read EMP record and connection we have to define for our database and I will give it a name called my HR connection just give it my HR and we'll go from let's take an IP address here because sometimes it's it don't breed and this is very important JNDI name we have to use the same JNDI name and in the this should be defined in the DB adapter uh, in the weblogic server we will see how to do this later and we will use the same DB uh, data source that we created in the previous application uh, tutorial and what we have to do operation is to just read the record based on the employee ID and we'll take the select which tables to import so obvious we will take the employees and employee table the relationship we don't need actually 
we can maybe remove all relations or you can keep it no issues you can select all we have to create a one parameter which will take an employee ID and with this SQL we need to create a expression filter where clause you can say employee ID equals to our parameter employee ID and you can see the where clause automatically added here this we can keep it defaults and you can see the DB adapter is here we'll wire them so now we can read uh, the database with this people process go to the people process and uh, here we have to invoke this uh, uh, in, in partner link actually DB adapter first we will use the invoke here and we will link them I will give it a name invoke EMP service and we'll create an input variable local and an output variable and we have to assign the input variable some value and this value will be the parameter we will assign to this uh, so we need a copy operation and the input coming from our request this EMP ID we will set it to the input of our invoke service and input of our invoke service will be this now the when the user will put input it will assign the value to this service and service will read the database from the database and next step we have to set the output reply so for this we have to transform our results and for this uh, here we will use this output source and we will take this output as payload the source variable actually we are taking from our invoke service and output will be to the our payload press ok this is transform editor and you can see this is our source part and this is our target part so for this uh, we have to create first we have to return the name and the salary which is coming from the db adapter so first we have to concat the result we will drag the concat operation into the center take the first name drag here last name here and drag this to link this to the name and between this we need a little space so we can put it like this and uh, we have to return the salary here so we'll link the salary as this and this response we need to use this for each operation we'll drag here and the collection will be linked to this so this uh, our service is complete and you can validate the service there is no errors what this service will do will receive input assign the value to invoke service input variable invoke service will read this uh, data from the database via db adapter re return the result and it will transform to the output reply let's deploy our service to the server let's see what happens we'll take this over server now you can see that our service has been de deployed but uh, we have to create a, a 
JNDI name uh, as I explained sim same as this name to our weblogic server so let's do this we'll go to the weblogic console first and we'll go to the deployments under deployments we can see the DB adapter here we'll go there here we have configurations and outbound connection pools under connection factory we can see a couple of different uh, connection factories uh, so we have to create here one with the same JNDI name that we are using and this connection factory we have to say which da data source we have to use so there is a property called AS data source name we have to use the same that I created and press enter make sure save it and now we have to deploy our JDBC uh, DB adapter again let's go to the deployment we will select our DB adapter and press update and we will sh make sure select the plan here deploy and finish now we are ready to test our service so let's go to the enterprise manager uh, our DB adapter process in the test will put a name a uh, employee ID from the database and you can see the results Stephen King and its salary we will go for another 101 and the server uh, service will return uh, us a completely different record 